Welcome to the Hidden Homestead. My name is David, and today we're doing a Knob Creek Rye shootout, showdown, whatever. All right, guys, thanks for joining me today as we go over these Knob Creek Rye uh, store picks. Before we get started, I have a few quick things to say. I don't want to ramble on, but I just got to get this out there. First of all, if you've not already done so, please consider subscribing to the channel. It would be awesome if you did so. Second thing, uh, if, you, if you're not aware, we have an everyday carry giveaway, an EDC giveaway going on right now. Uh, that's still going on. It's been going on for about two and a half weeks. So you still have time to go and enter. I will leave the link for it in the description below. Go check it out. Pretty easy, basic process. Uh, if you like brass EDC, if you like cool brass patina, you'll love this giveaway. Go check it out. Again, the link is in the description below. The third and final thing I want to bring up is that I've had a couple of people, I've had a few different people ask me why I've stopped doing project videos. I want everyone to know that I have not stopped doing project videos. There's a few reasons or a few different reasons why you might not see as many project videos on the channel. One, I was only putting out videos once a month, every other month, every two weeks, every you know seven weeks. Very inconsistent. The reason they were so inconsistent is because it depends on the size of the project. So if I was doing a big project, it would take me longer. If I was doing a smaller, I could get out a video in a couple of days. I wanted to be more consistent, which is why I started incorporating whiskey reviews, which is why I started incorporating uh, more preparedness videos like the bug out bag or the truck loadout. You can check those out right here if you are interested. Um, so I wanted just to be more consistent with all the videos and just kind of make it a lifestyle. What I like to do, what I enjoy doing, and just kind of incorporate that into the Hidden Homestead because the Hidden Homestead is a lifestyle brand. So I'm still doing project videos. I do have a couple of them in the works right now. I just have to have something to kind of fill in. The other reason I've kind of slowed down with project videos is, truth be told, my back has gotten a little worse. So uh, it's harder for me to pick up heavy things when I'm broken. It's a lot easier on my back just to sit here and drink. So <laughs> I still am going to be doing project videos uh, so don't don't worry anyway with that being said let's get into it I've got two bottles of Knob Creek Rye Fogies liquor in Sioux Falls and this is it's a BRB end pick we'll get into that in a little bit we're just gonna say for right now for the sake of argument it is a Timmin store a Timmins market store pick in Rapid City now, if you've been following along, you know that I've done a couple of head-to-heads of the Knob Creek bourbon store picks. Uh, you can check those out right here. Those have all been South Dakota. I took a few from the west side of the state and competed those, and I took a few from the east side of the state, competed with those, and then brought the winner of the two together. That ended up being Fogies Liquor from Sioux Falls and Timmins Market in Rapid City. Fogies Liquor just barely won the uh, Knob Creek uh, bourbon. For all you Rapid City or Black Hills people, it went up against uh, Timmins cease and assist and it just barely, barely uh, lost. So I thought, why not do a rematch, especially when uh, Dan told me that he was getting a Knob Creek rye. I already knew about the Fogies Knob Creek rye, so I figured we need to have a rematch. Like I said before, I'm doing this as Timmons because Dan and Patrick at Timmons did pick this out along with some of the other members from BRBN. Uh, it is a collaboration. If you're from the area, you know what BRBN is. It's a super cool project that they got going on. Thank you for all you guys. Thank you for everything that you guys have been doing for our local area and getting in some pretty sweet whiskeys. Now, little does Dan know I helped pick this one out. And by what what I mean is I, I just stopped in one day when I was in Sioux Falls and voted for, for this one. But I mean, to, to my credit, the one that I voted for did win. So, you know, I got that going for me. All right, so we're gonna get these poured out, enough rambling, get these poured out and see how they go. I've got B for BRBN and F 
for fogies. Now, as you can see, this is going to be a fresh pop. Uh, yeah. That's pretty weak. And whatever. Uh, fresh, uh, fresh pop here. Get it poured out. I'll have to let it open up while I'm letting that open up. Now I do, I've, as you can see, I've had this. Uh, I had it, um, like I said, I voted for it. That's This is the one that I picked. It is good. It is really good. Um, that's not very scientific. We're doing these blind. I better make it to where I can't see. There we go, that's good. Um, so yeah, this was a very good pick. I've not had uh, the BRBN pick yet, so I'm pretty stoked for that. We're gonna see where they go. Uh, I'm gonna get this mixed up. Usually when I slide them around the table, it's it's a lot of noise, so I'm just gonna you know, mix them up off camera, and then we'll be right back. All right, so here we go. Now, I, I'm, I'm not sure I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to tell, but with the um, the BRBN because it is, you know, it's not had it's not had time to open up like the Fogies one. Is that going to affect it? It might. I don't know. We're going to find out. We'll say the glass number one and glass number two. Glass number one on the nose. Right off the rip, that had kind of a almost a buffalo trace, but a young. It's sweet. It's sweet like Buffalo Trace. It has that sweet, almost like candied raspberry, but it also is kind of like a sweet corn in there, which is kind of weird because it is it is a rye. But with that Knob Creeks, I think that's why I like the rye so much is because it has the rye characteristics, but it is, uh, honestly, it's closer to a bourbon, really. It's a lot sweeter. I'm rambling a lot. I'm just trying to give these some time to open up just so it, you know, it's fair. To be fair. All right. Yeah, I'm getting the I'm getting the rye spice. I'm getting that candy. There's a candy in there. Um, it's, there's also like a malty. It's real, real light on the maltiness. Honestly, it, it smells, it does smell young. See how it tastes. I mean, that's that's that is really good. That is actually that's closer to the regular uh, Knob Creek rye that you can get on the shelf all the time. Their regular batched Knob Creek rye. Um, the profile, obviously, it has a Knob Creek profile, but the profile of this one is is similar. It's, I, I guess what I'm saying is it doesn't really taste. A whole lot like a single barrel. Um, so we'll go to glass number two. This one has definitely a little bit more uh, like, a, like a caramel in there. I get that rye, that earthy, there's like an earthy note. want to go back to this one the nose on glass number one is sweeter but it's lighter the nose on glass number two um, I guess is a little a little bolder kind of heavier denser if that makes sense uh, I mean I don't know how, how else to explain it. It's not that you can't really smell anything in this one and you can smell a whole lot in this one. It's just, this one's bolder. Hopefully that makes sense. Class number two. Man, just like last time when these two stores, or now collectively, uh, the BRBN, um, went head to head, it was extremely difficult to figure out which one was best. 
Um, they're not very different, but they are definitely different. But they're both very good. So, I'm going to uh, I'm going to go get a drink of water. I'm going to let these open up a little bit, and then off camera, I'm just going to try to let them open up and then go back and forth between the two because this is going to be pretty tough, I think. So, again, off camera, we'll go back and forth and figure out where we're sitting with these. All right, I thought it would be a good time to mention the sponsor of today's video, which is me, the thehiddenhomesteadstore.com, because it's my video, I can do that. Uh, so over at the hidden the thehiddenhomesteadstore.com, uh, we sell the stuff that I make in the workshop, so any sort of blacksmithing, knives, tomahawks, uh, I got a couple other different trinket stuff. Uh, beard oil, if you want to have a luscious beard, get some beard oil. We also sell our swag over there, so go check that out. Um, when you go to check out, use discount code EDC, because we still have an EDC giveaway going on. Use discount code EDC to receive 10% off of your purchase. That's awesome. So thank you, hiddenhomesteadstore.com, for sponsoring today's video. All right, let's get back to it. So we're back, and we're pretty much where we left off. <laughs> um, they did open up. Each glass opened up, and I was able to kind of pick up different notes from both bottles. So glass number one... Uh, kind of opened up and that candy sweet that I was getting was a combination of butterscotch and uh, a fig Newton. That maltiness that I believe that I was getting was, was I kind of related it to the, the cookie part around the fig Newton. And then I am actually getting the figs, that fig the scent, the aroma, um, from the Fig Newton. So it's like it's like a butterscotch coated Fig Newton on the nose. That sounds weird, but it kind of what I got. And then also a little bit of just the rye spice, some earthy notes. On the palate, man, on the palate, honestly, on for both of these, I had to look to make sure that I had the uh, rye. <laughs> because I, I have a lot of single barrel Knob Creeks, rye, bourbons, all that stuff. I had to double check because they're not very rye <laughs> at all. But I mean, that goes back to Knob Creek being my favorite rye, I think, because I'm not a huge rye fan. I like a little bit of the rye spice and some of the earthiness that comes along with it, That sometimes that black pepper note or the white pepper, excuse me. Um, but I like the sweetness of like a bourbon and Knob Creek really hits it with that for me because it's really sweet, but you get a little bit of that rye that comes through. Uh, so as far as the palate, it just, I was getting, I was getting a, Honestly, I was getting a lot of the same stuff that you would get on a typical bourbon um, with with a little bit of earthiness from the rye. That makes sense. Uh, on glass number two, I was getting a charcoal dark chocolate on the nose. Um, and then and then caramel was coming through as well underneath that on the palate. Same thing. It was uh, kind of the almost your stereotypical bourbon flavors, bourbon flavors with a little bit of that rye earthiness, and that rye punch. Uh, as far as which one is better, <laughs> one more time. So you guys can see it on camera. We're gonna do this one more time. I'm really gonna think so you can see me think about it. Glass number one. Actually, let's let's just do back to back on the nose. Glass number one, glass number two on the nose.
they're they're different both of them like i said before this one is bolder this one's a little lighter but they're bringing each of them's bringing something different to the table i'm still getting the fig on this one i'm almost that's it's really weird i'm almost getting like a stone uh stone fruit on this one now i didn't get that before that sniff that i just had I got the knob. I got the uh, Jim Beam peanut. All right. So on the palate, that's honestly so close to a bourbon. <laughs> Glass number two on the palate. Same thing. A bourbon with a funky, earthy rye, especially on the finish. The, the nose is really good. The palate is really good. The finish on both are good. The winner is both of them. So that's it, that's it. So if you live in Sioux Falls, Pick up a bottle of Knob Creek, uh, uh, the, the Knob Creek Rye. If you're in the Black Hills area, grab a bottle of the BRBN. It doesn't matter. If you want to have both for your collection, that's great. But just pick one up, and you'll be you'll be fine. These are both really good. So let's see what. B. All right, so B had the like the fig note, the butterscotch, um, and then Fogies had kind of like the chocolate going on, the the charcoal chocolate. Super good. That was that was uh, that was good. That was a good uh, contest. Un, un, un contest. Good shootout. Good whatever. It, it, anyway. Um, <laughs> That was fun. That was really fun. I'm sorry, Dan. I wanted you to win, but at least you got a tie, I guess, right? That's cool. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me that thumbs up button. If you didn't like the video because you didn't win, uh, hit the thumbs down button. Or, or, or even if you didn't like the video just because you thought it sucked, hit the down the thumbs down button because uh, you thought it sucked but then also leave me uh, excuse me leave me a comment telling me why I suck if you didn't like it that would that'd be cool um Facebook Instagram those things patreon that helps out a lot please subscribe my goal this year is to hit 50 thousand subscribers help me reach that goal and hitting 50,000 subscribers subscribers that would be greatly appreciated and then also you know off the side do the little bell icon so you get notifications uh again the edc video well yeah you can watch the edc video why not uh, uh, uh plug i'm just going to do a shameless plug right there uh edc video you can watch that also the edc giveaway check that out if you want some cool edc gear get your entries in good luck with that and i think that is it facebook and patreon edc and whatever uh so until next time cheers suggestion on which rye I should try which which rye I should try uh, leave it in the comments below I will give it a go man that was that was two rhymes in a row nailed it complexity is that a word complexity I think it is oh, man there does there there does there does there there does there does there needs there needs to be there should be there has to be there does i don't that sounds weird does that sound weird
third dose. Third. I mean, the way I said it, obviously, because I'm my my redneck accent. But Dan, um, I wanted Timmons to win. I really did because Fogies Fogies beat you last time. <laughs> Everyone at BRBN dealing or deals with BRBN. Thank you so much uh, for everything that you guys do for us, for all of us. Thank you. Thank you very much. Awesome. Okay. I'm done rambling. That's it.